हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल एंड आई होप ऑल ऑफ यू आर डूइंग वेल एंड प्रिपेयरिंग वेल सो टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट अ वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक सो बिफोर आई मूव ऑन आई रिक्वेस्ट यू ऑल इफ यू आर न्यू टू माई चैनल देन डू सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल बिकॉज दिस चैनल विल हेल्प यू इन ऑल सॉर्ट ऑफ प्रेपरेशन so uh, the topic which i am going to discuss today is a debate from a debate over transition from feudalism to capitalism now why this topic why i have chosen this topic as a very very important topic see uh, agar aap youtube pe dekhoge to aapko debate ke regarding bahut hi kam aapko videos milengi and This has been a very very controversial topic, ठीक है तो क्या reasons रहे कि a debate happened from trans मतलब a transition happened from feudalism to capitalism. Now uh, whether you are doing B honors history, then also this concept is very very important. You are doing M A in history, then also this topic is very very important. even if you are preparing for upsc then also this topic is very very important even if you are preparing for ugc net examination then also this topic is very very important this topic is a part of modern world to aapke modern world ka ye bahut hi important ek part hai so today i am going to discuss one of the very very prominent question this will help you to understand the certain issues which were prevalent in the modern world so today's question is discuss the debate over transition from feudalism to capitalism in today's video i am going to talk about transition from feudalism to capitalism now what do we really mean by the term transition transition means some sort of change some sort of change which is happening in the society right so in modern world so when we talk about europe uh, the society was prevalently feudalism based now what do we really mean by the term feudalism and what do we really mean by the term capitalism to understand both of these terms are extremely important now the first thing is what do we really mean by the term feudalism so in europe there was a feudal economy like feudal system of production now what do we mean by feudal system of production we mean that in a feudal economy in a feudal system of production the serf is attached to the land yani ki ek aisa concept hai jab jo bonded labor hai wo land se attached hai so for instance if a person is working on the land that serfdom or that serf cannot leave the land without the permission of the landlord to so, agar aapke paas ek piece of land hai jahan par aap cultivation kar rahe hain aur uske andar aapne serfs ko rakha hai yani ki bonded labor ko rakha hai aur wo bonded labor us land ko nahi chhod sakte hain this was a system of production which was prevalent in the feudal economy now this is what we mean by the term feudalism now we have another very important term and concept that is capitalism capitalism means when the major focus is on the production maximization and the concept of serfdom changed okay so uh, and there is a focus on the production maximization now how it happened and what sort of debate we are going to discuss that is the prominent question over here so one of the most lively academic debates in recent times relate to the question of what led to the decline of feudalism and the rise of capitalism uh, capitalist mode of production and led to the creation of a modern world this is known as the transition debate yani ki transition debate ka matlab hua ki aise kya karan rahe ki a certain decline in feudalism happened and 
there was a gradual process which led to the emergence of capitalism. So decline in feudalism happened and rise in capitalism happened. This debate is known as the transition debate. Now historians and scholars are of different opinions on this debate. Like what were the reasons why uh, decline of feudalism happened and what were the reasons why the rise of capitalism happened. So, um, so the decline of feudalism to the emergence of capitalism is known as transition debate. Now there were Marxist scholars and non-Marxist scholars uh, both of them were debating on this issue like what were the major reasons for this transition. So this controversy arise and uh, this was an issue not only between the Marxist and the non-Marxist scholars. This was a major issue and concern between the Marxist and the Marxist scholars as well. So, Marxist and non-Marxist scholars have difference of opinion but within the Marxist group of historians also there is a difference of opinion, right? So, this unending controversy began with the publication of Morris Dobb. There was one very prominent scholar named as Morris Dobb and Morris Dobb's stimulating work was studies in the development of capitalism after the Second World War. So, the stimulating work of Morris Dobb is studies in the development of capitalism after the Second World War. So, um, Morris Dobb gave one of the publication and after that several scholars came forward and they were uh, of different opinion. They were differing uh, from the point of view of Morris Dobb. So there was another Marxist scholar who was named as Paul Sweezy. And uh, Paul Sweezy vehemently challenged the thesis of Dobb. So whatever Dobb said, Paul Sweezy came and challenged the work of Morris Dobb. Now, as you can see, uh, later, later on, the attention of many Marxist and non-Marxist scholars who either supported one of the views or presented their own models of interpretation. So the concept is very very simple. The transition debate mein kya ho hai? Decline of feudalism hua and rise of capitalism hua. Okay? Is process ko padne ke liye humne uh, kya pada? Transition debate. Now transition debate mein Morris Dobb ne apna kuch opinion diya. Then Morris Dobb's opinions was challenged by Paul Sweezy's opinion. There were several other Marxist and non-Marxist scholars which came forward with their different opinions. Now the debate. So Morris Dobb argued that the decline of feudalism was the result of the inner contradictions within the feudal mode of production. Morris Dobb was of the opinion that uh, the decline of feudalism happened due to the inner contradiction model. Now what is this inner contradiction model? Inner contradiction model means that there was some sort of problems inside the feudal economy, inside, inside the feudal system which basically led to the decline of feudalism and which led to the emergence of capitalism. Now there were several scholars who supported Morris Dobbs ideas. So Morris Dobbs views are strongly supported and elaborated by scholars such as Rodney Hilton, Boris Poshnev, Christopher Hill, Kochariu Takashaki and many others. So uh, Morris Dobbs opinion was supported by many other scholars as well. Ki bhai Morris Dobbs ne bola ki jo inner contradiction hai feudal economy ke andar yani ki feudal economy feudal uh, system ke andar jo internal jo uski problems rahi hongi 
उसकी वजह से डिक्लाइन ऑफ फ्यूडलिज्म हुआ एंड एमर्जेंस ऑफ कैपिटलिज्म हुआ सो so, इनको बाकी के और स्कॉलर्स ने सेवरल वेज में सपोर्ट किया दिस एक्सप्लेनेशन इज कॉमनली रेफर टू एज द इनर कॉन्ट्रोडिक्शन मॉडल सो मॉरिस डॉब्स डिबेट लेज ऑन द फाउंडेशन ऑफ इनर कॉन्ट्रोडिक्शन मॉडल कि आपके मॉडल के अंदर ही कोई ना कोई समस्या रही होगी जिसकी वजह से डिक्लाइन ऑफ फ्यूडलिज्म हुआ और वी कैन से द प्रॉपर्टी रिलेशंस पर्सपेक्टिव सो दिस व्यूज आर स्ट्रॉन्गली चैलेंज्ड बाय अ प्रोमिनेंट स्कॉलर पॉल स्वीजी सो पॉल स्वीजी वाज अ प्रोमिनेंट स्कॉलर एंड ही चैलेंज्ड द वर्क ऑफ मॉरिस डॉग so uh now we will talk about the model uh which paul sweezy talked about ki dekhiye uh morris job ne baat kari in a contradiction model ki then there was this person paul sweezy so uh main abhi aapko ek brief introduction de rahi hu afterwards i am going to explain each of these models in greater greater detail so paul sweezy contends that the decline of feudalism was primarily due to the expansion of commercial economy so one of the prominent points which which sweezy made here is the expansion of commercial economy ki expansion hua hoga commercial economy mein that was directly related to the growth of trade and which acted as an external dissolving agent so um uh, paul sweezy contends ki jo morris job ne bola ki decline of feudalism kiski wajah se hua tha inner contradiction model ki wajah se unko ye baat achhi nahi lagi unhone bola ki the expansion of commercial economy ekdam se there was an expansion of commercial economy that was related to the growth of trade trade se related hai which acted as an external dissolving agent so this interpretation is usually termed as the market or commercial model or the exchange relations perspective so paul sweezy came up with the market और कमर्शियल मॉडल तो पॉल स्वीजी किसके साथ आए मार्केट और कमर्शियल मॉडल के साथ नाउ पॉल स्वीजी आइडियाज आर सिग्निफिकेंटली सपोर्टेड बाय इमैनुअल वॉल स्ट्रीन सो इमैनुअल वॉल स्ट्रीन मेक्स अ सिग्निफिकेंट कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन इन दिस अप्रोच so what is this approach this approach is known as the market or commercial model approach right so firstly we have morris dob who talk about the inner contradiction model and on the other hand we have paul sweezy who vehemently challenged the thesis of dob and he came forward with the market or commercial model i hope you are getting that till now we have talked about two prominent scholars and their different uh, models right now a non marxist explanation now both of them were marxist now we are talking about the non marxist explanation of this a non marxist explanation emphasizes the role of demographic factors in the decline of feudalism जो आपके नॉन मार्क्सिस्ट स्कॉलर्स हैं उन्होंने डेमोग्राफिक फैक्टर्स के ऊपर फोकस किया है इन द डिक्लाइन ऑफ फ्यूडलिज्म दिस व्यू इज लेड बाय स्कॉलर्स लाइक एच जे हाबाकोक एम एम पॉस्टन एंड इमानुअल ले रॉय लाडूरी दिस इंटरप्रिटेशन इज टर्म एज द मालथूजियन मॉडल और द डेमोग्राफिक मॉडल so there were non marxist scholars and who were of the opinion that there must be some change in the demography demography matlab 
either it can be rise in population or it can be fall in population, right? तो demography का मतलब क्या होता है कि जनसंख्या में आपका कितना उतार चढ़ाव हो रहा है उसकी वजह से there must be something uh, which led to the uh, decline of feudalism and the emergence of capitalism. So till now we have three opinions. One of Morris Dobb. Morris Dobb ne bola ki inner contradiction model hai. Internally feudal system ke andar kuch na kuch samasya rahi hogi. Koi na koi problem raha hoga. Due to which decline of feudalism happened and the emergence of capitalism happened. There was another very prominent scholar whose name was Paul Sweezy. Paul Sweezy ne bola there must be some sort of commercial expansion, trade mein expansion hua hoga which led to the emergence of capitalism and the decline of feudalism. And thirdly we have non-Marxist scholars who are talking about ki there must be certain change in the demography yani ki jansankhya ke andar uh, it can be either rise in population or can be uh, decline in population kuch aisa hua hoga uh, due to which uh, the decline of feudalism happened and the emergence of capitalism took place now we have another very important marxist scholar and his name is robert brenner so Robert Brenner came with a model that is the class relations model. So the Robert Brenner reactivated the transition debate. Robert Brenner reactivated the transition debate in the 1970s and the 1980s. His explanation resembles Morris Dobb. So whatever explanation Robert Brenner is giving his explanation is resembling the explanation of Morris Dobb in some ways but he considered the nature of class relations to be the paramount to be to be the of paramount importance in the transition towards capitalism so there is this prominent scholar unhone bola Robert Brenner ne ki there must be some very important thing in the class relation structure which led to the decline of feudalism and the emergence of capitalism. So I hope कि आपको समझ में आ रहा होगा कि हम क्या बात कर रहे हैं। तो transition debate क्या है? अगर अभी मैं आपसे पूछूं कि whatever you have understood, so there are two three questions which have came forward कि what is transition debate? Transition debate is about the decline of feudalism and the emergence of capitalism. Ki transition debate kya hai ki decline hua feudalism ka or emergence hua capitalism ka. Thikhe? This debate is known as the transition debate. Ab humne padha ki there are 4-5 scholars who have came forward with different opinions. So this debate started with the work of Morris Dobb. Morris Dobb ka work ke through ye start hua. And Morris Dobb ne kya bola? There is an inner contradiction model. So number one is your Morris Dobb. Morris Dobb ne bola there is an inner contradiction model. Now what is this inner contradiction model? That we are going to study in greater detail. Abhi mein aapko aage aage abhi aap models ke naam sun lijiye. Baki mein abhi aapko in model ko kaafi greater detail mein bataunge. So Morris Dobb talked about the inner contradiction model. On the second number we have Paul Sweezy and Imon, Emmanuel Wallstream. So Paul Sweezy ke arguments ko in bhi support kiya tha Emmanuel Wallstream ne. They came forward with the model of market or commercial model. Ki in honne bola ki market ya fir commerce mein, trade mein uh, increase hua hoga jiski wajah se there must be rise in capitalism. Now third very prominent non-Marxist scholars uh, who talked about the demographic model or the Malthusian model that is H.J. Habakkuk, M.M. Poston and Emmanuel Le Roy Laduri. So ye, uh, all of these scholars came forward with the demographic model. Now at fourth number we have Robert Brenner and Robert Brenner talked about the class relations model. So all these explanations assigning different reasons 
for the decline of feudalism and the emergence of capitalism ki bahut sare sapne alag alag opinions de diye ki kya decline of feudalism hua aur kaise emergence of capitalism hua well all of them have their strengths as well as weaknesses in their arguments so some people think this must have been the reason and the other must be the supporter of the other reasons now i am going to talk about these uh, concepts in a greater greater detail so uh, let us firstly talk about the inner contradiction model by morris dob so jaise ki maine aapko bataya ki morris dob ne inner contradiction model ke bare mein baat kari now what is this inner contradiction model that is a prominent question which we are supposed to answer so morris dob provides the first major explanation for the decline of feudalism morris dob was a scholar who uh, gave a prominent explanation for the decline of feudalism representing the classic mass a uh, classical uh, marxist approach so morris dob was having marxist approach and he gave us an inner contradiction model now this explanation is generally described as the property relations perspective or the inner contradiction model तो इसको आप दो तरीके से बोल सकते हो कि मॉरिस डॉब ने दो मॉडल्स मतलब एक ही मॉडल के दो नाम है इधर यू कैन कॉल इट एज इनर कॉन्ट्रोडिक्शन मॉडल और यू कैन कॉल इट एज प्रॉपर्टी रिलेशन परस्पेक्टिव आप इसको दोनों में से कुछ भी यू कैन से इधर ऑफ द थिंग्स सो फॉर डॉब देर आर टू चीफ एलिमेंट्स रिलेटेड टू दी ट्रांजिशन फ्रॉम फ्यूडलिज्म टू कैपिटलिज्म सो डॉब इन हिस थीसिस टॉक्स अबाउट two very prominent uh, elements so the first is the system of production resting on serf labor to so, jaise ki maine aapko bataya ek aisa system of production jo ki kis pe kaam karta tha serf labor pe serf labor kya hota hai bonded labor which is attached to the land yani ki ek aisi labor uh, kind of aap hindi mein samajhne ke liye keh sakte ho bandhua mazdoor jo ki us land se hi टाइड अप है वो अपनी लैंड को छोड़ के नहीं जा सकते तो यूरोप में उस समय पर एक ऐसा सिस्टम ऑफ प्रोडक्शन था जब द सर्फ वॉज टाइड टू द लैंड तो लेबर वॉज टाइड टू द लैंड दे के नॉट लीव द लैंड मे बी उनको अच्छा कुछ पैसे मिल रहे हैं नहीं मिल रहे दे दे आर सपोज टू स्टिक विद द लैंड ठीक है तो फॉर एवरी थिंग दे आर टाइड अप टू द लैंड so or subject peasantry while well, the second is based on the hired wage labor to keh rahe ek shift ek sort of transition hua lekin us transition ko samajhne ke liye we have to understand the two basic elements so one of the element is of the serf labor and the another element is of the hired wage labor to ek to aisi labor hai jo ki land ke sath tied up hai यानी कि वो कल्टीवेशन करेगी ही करेगी नो मैटर व्हाट लैंडलॉर्ड उनको कितना भी एक्सप्लॉयट करे दिस वाज द कंडीशन अंडर द फ्यूडल सिस्टम बट व्हेन वी टॉक अबाउट कैपिटलिज्म देयर वाज अ सर्टेन शिफ्ट एंड द शिफ्ट वाज टुवर्ड्स द हायर्ड वेज लेबर कि अब दो तरीके से हो रहा है कि पहले एक ऐसी लेबर फ्यूडलिज्म के टाइम पर आपके पास ऐसी लेबर थी व्हिच वाज टाइड टू द लैंड व्हिच वाज बेस्ड ऑन द प्रिंसिपल्स ऑफ so the and secondly we have another labor which is um, hired labor so this represent two separate phases of transition so pehla wala hame samajh mein aa chuka hai ki that is related to feudalism and the second one we can say it is related to capitalism obviously when hired wage laborer ka concept aayega to so this caused the disintegration of the feudal system of exploitation and led to a virtual crisis in the feudal society of the western europe and brought it to its end so aapne dekha ki ek jagah par serfdom chal raha hai aur ek jagah par hired wage laborer hai 
तो जैसे ही सर्वडम वालों को पता चलेगा कि धीरे धीरे अब हायर्ड वेज लेबर का भी कॉन्सेप्ट आने लगा है तो ऑब्वियसली दो पीपल विल स्पीक अप फॉर देयर राइट कि हमारे साथ इतना ज्यादा एक्सप्लॉयटेशन हो रहा है हम तो हमेशा से उसी लैंड के साथ टाइड अप है हमें उसी लैंड को कल्टिवेट करना है नो मैटर हमें लैंडलॉर्ड कितना भी एक्सप्लॉयट कर रहा है सो देर वॉज अ सर्टन ट्रांजेक्शन विच वॉज हैपनिंग सो ये जो इनर कॉन्ट्रोडिक्शन मॉडल का मतलब है कि उनका सर्वडम उनकी फ्यूडल इकोनॉमी के अंदर ही सर्व्स को इतना ज्यादा एक्सप्लॉयट किया गया था यानी कि लेबर को इतना ज्यादा एक्सप्लॉयट किया गया था कि जैसे ही हायर्ड वेज लेबर का कॉन्सेप्ट आया देर वॉज अ ट्रांजिशन फ्रॉम फ्यूडलिज्म टू कैपिटलिज्म आई होप यू आर गेटिंग माई पॉइंट एंड uh, अगर आपको कुछ नहीं समझ में आता है एंड इफ यू हैव एनी क्वेरीज और डाउट्स रिलेटिंग टू दिस वीडियो यू कैन जस्ट मैसेज मी इन दी कॉमेंट सेक्शन आई वुड बी हैप्पी टू आंसर इट एंड आई मस्ट टेल यू दिस इज अ वेरी वेरी डिफिकल्ट टॉपिक ये एक आसान टॉपिक नहीं है कि आपको एकदम से पढ़ के सुन के समझ में आ जाएगा इट इज अ डिफिकल्ट टॉपिक लेकिन ऑनर्स लेवल पे और मास्टर्स लेवल पे पढ़ा जाता है ये टॉपिक को बट दिस इज a very very important topic so uh, i have been thinking from days to present this video right so agar aapko kuch bhi nahi samajh mein aayega then you can um, write down in the comment section i would be happy to re explain it or uh, explain it in a better way agar aapke koi bhi doubt hoga to so um, the unevenness of the process as well as the chronological difference between the various regions and the factors that led to the introduction and extension of serfdom over previously free cultivators was one of the reasons for the decline of feudalism keh rahe hain ki jo feudalism ka system hai na wo chalta hi rehta agar wo free cultivators ko बॉन्डेड लेबरर्स या सर्वडम के अंदर कन्वर्ट नहीं करते तो इफ यू आर अ फ्री कल्टिवेटर एंड हैव विल एंड पावर टू लीव द लैंड लॉर्ड वेन एवर यू वॉन्ट टू सो इन दैट सिनारियो तो वो फ्यूडल सिस्टम चलता रहता अगर आपके पास पावर और अथॉरिटी है कि आप उस लैंड से टाइडअप है आपको नहीं अच्छा लग रहा देन यू कैन लीव दैट ओके बट अगर जैसे ही जब ये इंट्रोडक्शन हुआ और एक्सटेंशन होने लगा सर्वडम सिस्टम का कि यू आर टाइट टू दैट लैंड तो इस सिचुएशन एंड सिनारियो में यू कैनॉट लीव द लैंड यू कैनॉट लीव द लैंड लॉर्ड यू कैनॉट लीव दैट पीस ऑफ लैंड यू आर कल्टीवेटिंग सो दिस लेड टू दी डिक्लाइन ऑफ फ्यूडलिज्म एंड दिस इज नोन एज द इनर कॉन्ट्रोडिक्शन मॉडल कि उनका जो अपने अंदर का ही Uh, जो मॉडल था वो अपने आप में ही काफी ज्यादा क्या था कॉन्ट्राडिक्ट्री था सेकेंडली द डिसंटीग्रेशन ऑफ फ्यूडलिज्म हैज टू बी एक्सप्लेन इन रिलेशन टू द राइज ऑफ वेज लेबर तो हम सिर्फ सर्वडम को ही ना देखें हम साथ साथ में ये भी देखें देर वॉज अ सर्टन राइज ऑफ द वेज लेबर अंडर दी बुजुआसी और दी कैपिटलिस्ट मेथड ऑफ प्रोडक्शन धीरे धीरे क्या हुआ कि सर्वडम तो ठीक है चल रहा था कि एवरीबडी इज टाइट टू द लैंड एंड दो पीपल हैव टू सर्व द लैंड लॉर्ड और उनको उनका सारा एक्सप्लॉयटेशन झेलना है द थिंग्स वर गोइंग इन दिस वे राइट बट दे वॉज अ राइज ऑफ कैपिटलिस्ट मोड ऑफ प्रोडक्शन अब वो कैपिटलिस्ट मोड ऑफ प्रोडक्शन कैसे हो रहा था देर वॉज अ सिस्टम विच वॉज राइजिंग अप एंड दैट सिस्टम वॉज ऑफ राइज ऑफ वेज लेबर कि आप उन्हें वेज देंगे और वो पैसे लेंगे और वो पैसे लेकर काम करेंगे एंड दैट इट दे आर नॉट एंटाइटल टू द लैंड दे आर नॉट बॉन्डेड टू द लैंड ठीक है वो एक बंधुआ मजदूर नहीं है तो दिस सिस्टम वॉज राइजिंग अप so this also led to the emergence of capitalism so morris job is of the opinion ki aapka kya hua one there was the system of serfdom serfdom ka system tha jiski wajah se decline of feudalism hua or secondly rise of wage laborer hua jiski wajah se which led to the emergence of capitalism 
Now, Dobb made the following points regarding the emergence of capitalism. Now, I'm going to list certain points which you can uh, really look forward. So, number one, as uh, all of us are discussing, that is the suppression of serfdom. So, by uh, separation of serfdom, by contractual relations. So, what do they do? They were contract in a contract. कि एक सर्वडम है दैट इज टाइड टू द लैंड बाय अ सिस्टम ऑफ कॉन्ट्रैक्ट सो दिस वाज द रिजल्ट ऑफ द इनर कॉन्ट्रडिक्शंस इन फ्यूडल रिलेशंस बिटवीन द नोबिलिटी एंड द पेजेंट्री तो पेजेंट्री और नोबिलिटी के बीच में एक ऐसा सिस्टम था कि उस सिस्टम के अंदर द सर्व इज टाइड टू द लैंड एंड दैट सर्व कैन नॉट लीव द लैंड सो इन दैट केस एंड सिनेरियो वो इनर कॉन्ट्रडिक्शन मॉडल ऐसा था जिसकी वजह से ऑल ऑफ दीज थिंग स्टार्टेड टू हैपन सो द वेरी मिजरी ऑफ द पेजेंट्री क्रिएटेड द कंडीशन फॉर द डिक्लाइन ऑफ फ्यूडलिज्म की पेजेंट्री की ऐसी मिजरी वाली कंडीशन थी जिसकी वजह से देर हैपेंड अ डिक्लाइन ऑफ फ्यूडलिज्म सो द ओवर एक्सप्लॉयटेशन ऑफ लेबर the unproductive activities which were prevalent at that point of time like uh, war equally disastrous exhaustion of power and opportunities to increase lord's revenue made the feudal mode increase increasingly untenable so there was a system which was happening at that point of time so lord was increasing the revenue for instance if the service tied to the land they are asking them to give them more revenue from the uh, sale of their crops ki ab ye crops se thoda uh, land se hame zyada revenue do to is tarike ki cheeze bhi hone lagi jiski wajah se uh, ekdam se feudalism ka system aur zyada complicated hone laga to feudalism ka jo system tha uske andar hi bahut sari aisi kamiyan thi jiski wajah se jo feudalism ka kya hua decline hua so this is known as the inner contradiction model which was presented by morris dog i hope uh, i am making sense to all of you now there were certain uh, other elements which we are going to talk about and the other elements are the growth of capitalist elements ये सिचुएशन तो ठीक है कि भाई सर्वडम है दे आर टाइट टू द लैंड कुछ और एक हायर्ड वेज लेबर का कॉन्सेप्ट आ रहा है ऑल ऑफ दिस इज फाइन सो देर वॉज अ सर्टन ग्रोथ इन द ग्रोथ ऑफ द कैपिटलिस्ट एलिमेंट्स नाउ डॉब अटैच कंसिडरेबल इंपॉर्टेंस टू द ग्रोथ ऑफ कैपिटलिस्ट एलिमेंट्स सो डॉब ने बताया कि कैपिटलिस्ट एलिमेंट्स को भी उन्होंने बहुत ज्यादा महत्व दिया फ्रॉम द रैंक्स ऑफ डायरेक्ट प्रोड्यूसर्स रिलीज्ड 